Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here and this chat never, well nearly didn't happen. Not never happened because it's here. I'm talking to you so it's got to have, hasn't it really? But you know what I mean? It nearly didn't happen because I was so engrossed in um, watching Formula One and um, you know, then having a bit of dinner with Gary. And then I sat down to maybe watch something and if it wasn't for the fact that it was the last bit of sun and Gary wanted to go and sit outside, which I didn't feel like, um, I might have just forgotten to do this altogether if he'd said, oh, okay, let's watch something. Because um, it just slipped my mind, honestly. I'm really hot, sorry, I've got the fan. The aircon is on in there and the fan is now blowing at me, but I'm really, really hot. It's um, quite... I don't know, I haven't felt it like this, even when it was like raging and the hottest temperatures and everything else, I think there was less humidity. I think now that there's more humidity, now it's not that as warm, although it is warm. <coughs> and so then death, the weather report by Crochet Rocks. Hello, there you are. Okay. Um, Let's see. I'm trying to find a nice way to say that next Mother's Day, I don't want to see, hear, touch, smell, or anyone I married or gave birth to. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? I'd just like to point out that that isn't me. But um, we're going to have another one. Seven species of animal have mums who eat their young. After my kids' last meltdown at the grocery store, it also became eight. Ooh. Imagine eat, eating some snotty little sticky. Ooh. Especially if they weren't cooked. <laughs> Just saying. Gotta cook them. Um, okay, so tomorrow is Monday. We'll have one last look at Double Grogu Day. Double Grogu. And then the other one that we forced to look at all weekend well I don't know it might have been better than this one actually I'm not quite sure what this is oh hang on you can see now that's when the stroppy robot that's sent to kill Mando and him teamed up to get that other guy whose name escapes me <laughs> I'm no good with names do you know I used to be a lot better at things like names and dates and when I do a live or something like that, or I'm in a live, I, um, I always feel that I should have this disclaimer saying, I'm really sorry, I've probably forgotten all your names. That's what I should have, that this disclaimer. It's no fault of mine. Um, I'm just rubbish at it now. I can remember when I first started doing the live streams, there was only a few of us um, kind of doing it, as I said, and, and Granny D and I think Left is Right, um crochet as well um let's see if i've got the name sandy um started keeping a list of that channel name because people were even though they didn't upload content as channels they were making up channel names anyway so that one was linda that one was you know and so on and then they all went and changed their channel names to something because then I thought of it and thought oh, I'd rather be called this and that put the spanner in the works didn't know who they were again sorry I've got fluff up my nose and it's my slippers my I had um the slippers I got for Christmas I finally had to throw them away the other day because they they got too beyond um it's all right when they were a little beyond it you know this you still can wear them but they they finally started to kind of get really uncomfortable at the toes um and so when the backs because they were this this sort of shape right okay they were shaped like these so it didn't really matter that the backs were going but these ones started off life as a bit too small for me they're totes um so i didn't really i wore them a bit and then i got another pair for christmas which i wore all the time so then once they died, these ones come back out. But this fluff just comes out all the time. It's all over my carpet, all over in my toes. It's everywhere. The fluff 
just leaks from them and I thought maybe it'll stop after a while but it hasn't it's just leaking fluff and I think I've got it up my nose where I have to keep trying to pick it up if either pick it up or hoover about 24 times a day which you know isn't going to happen I'm just going to put some cream on my hands because I'm really trying to get rid of these sort of um, sores that I have on my hand. Now I don't have any more soreness on my thumb so that's uh, a real bonus but this the skin is still peeled off and it's not perfect so I'm kind of doing this all the time to try to uh, get that back to, to normal and um, the thing is because it's like that and I've been thinking that maybe it was the hooks I've not been crocheting which is annoying because I have a crochet channel so that's kind of annoying really I can't go back to those metal hooks because they're now too thin for me and um, I can't if I hold them I get achy because I've now got used to I can't not so much ergonomic you know I don't do the shaped ones which I honestly can't imagine ever ever being able to use not the straight face anyway but you know you get them odd ones I don't have any of those <clears throat> but um, yeah just the skinny ones not really sure I can do them anymore to be honest with you that's what we always used to have it was bog standard everybody had them and they were all grey and they <laughs> never really performed any differently to any other you know that was just it that's the way they were but now well you've got the ferrari of crochet hooks you you've got <laughs> the coca-cola of crochet hooks oh my face isn't exploding today I did once i think it's because i looked down too much so yeah i've got nothing to show you because i can't really um, crochet at the moment I was thinking I mean when I had plasters on um, I was doing it but um, I feel like it was still aggravating just a little bit so I've decided to try and give it a few days I mean obviously I only I didn't put enough on I only crocheted the other day obviously because I was making the blanket for the Boggy Creek um, the Boggy Creek blankets uh, which is over there I've got quite a little way into it now so I'll continue to do those anyway and um, perfect that one and maybe do a, tuto do a tutorial for them. But I was hoping to get my hands in a better shape before I did, um, ready to destroy them again with crochet hook appliances, mm -hmm. indeed. So yeah, we had, um, well, Formula One, can be a little boring these days but it was actually not too bad today it's quite an exciting race and lots of frills and spills and yeah it wasn't too bad oh the sun's come out again it's not been that great today I have to say it's been um in and out in a <laughs> shake it all about <laughs> wouldn't that be a thing if the sun shook it all about but yeah it's been um you know overcast one minute and then the sun comes out but even when it's overcast it's still really really hot um not got much to tell you we went out again today and oh my god the bridge is closed again so there was no way on this earth we were gonna even though gary wanted to go to this butchers in um Sittingbourne on the on the mainland i said no and he said but the bridge doesn't look too bad and i went yeah it doesn't because there's nothing really making it over is there no we're not gonna not going forget it we'll do it later when it's all over we'll just stick to shops here on the island so we went into a few shops and well on the way out we noticed as we left our village that the road beyond was combed off they were allowing people to come back you know out of it but they weren't allowing you to go up it so i said oh there must have been an accident and that's a long way to the next turn off so obviously they've blocked it there so no one can go up here and get stuck so we went the other way and um, 
it's more kind of built up and the nodes, roads are narrower and everything else and we were one I guess one of the first ones to come across it and um, it wasn't too bad except the way back was <laughs> so by then people were getting a bit um, turned around because I th uh, we when we come back we did notice a lot of people were ignoring that and just going around the cones well then obviously that's what's coming back at you um the other way because uh, if the road is blocked there'd be nothing coming apart from people who maybe lived along that stretch between the cones and the accident that'd be all there was but um the we tried to go um kind of like the, this really narrow lane I've mentioned it before um, we've tried to go down there and it was chock-a-block and two police cars went past us so I thought oh there's obviously been something happened down this road whether it be um, sort of driver rage from because you've got like a really narrow road you've got pulling on these little dirt bits to get by so it's either a bit of anger where you've been stuck in this other traffic before anyway and finally you're going down here and you meet some numpty who doesn't know what to do. So I thought well it's either that or there's been a crash or something so we turned around and we decided to just go through the village but we had to, all that traffic that was being turned away was now coming towards us and then you get parked cars so it's hard to get by them and I felt like we were never going to get home, it was really like ridiculous and uh, finally when we when we did get back here and we were driving through the holiday camps I said it's not that busy is it <laughs> I just realized they're all probably stuck he said those that have not nursed in a hangover and still in bed are probably just all stuck up there but that's probably true but it's like nightmare you've got the bridge closed so it's causing havoc and then I heard when I looked at Facebook it did say that there was a a crash and then there was another one along there <laughs> it's like ever feel really cut off and um stuck been stuck a few times and we had that that kind of siege thing going on a little while ago it's all go sleepy hollow has woken up guys it's um things are happening yeah goings on and all that well, at least, um, you know, there was no emergencies. We didn't have to go out. But that was combed off for quite a long time. So it must have been quite a bad one, to be honest with you. There is a, it is a hard road to overtake on. And if you're going along and you're stuck behind a tractor or someone slow, then quite often people get a little bit daring in their overtake and probably do it at the wrong time and go around a bend and find something coming at you you know people take too many chances because everybody's like going at tearing along at a breakneck speed and can't possibly slow down these days so yeah country roads and you know we get horses on them and all that anyway yeah I'm glad we went out when we did and didn't leave it till a bit later because we'd have been stuck in all that people were putting on their been stuck in this for so long you know it's like oh we were home by then you know? <laughs> but you know we wanted to Gary wanted to get some prawns because you know the other day I told you someone at his and um so it, it kind of felt hard done by I think and he wanted to get some and I said he's taking it to work again and he's putting it in the same sort of tub and I said, why are you doing that? That's the same tub they stole it from last time. You know, not the same one, obviously, because it never came back. But, um, yeah, I have to keep his beady eye on those. And his prawn salad. But, uh, so I ate mine anyway. I had mine today. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, so, not really much else to tell you, really just um <clears throat> uploaded that new pattern today and went out and packed some orders so i'm going to do the postage for all that soon so that they can collect them tomorrow um so i've done all that um i would have spent longer out there um doing a bit of tidying and i really do need to you know all those things i've said i was going to do you know get rid of that stuff that i've brought with me from my old house 
in the, that was in the loft and probably in the loft of the previous house and you never really touch it so um, I do need to sort that out it gives me so much more racking racking spaces um, because my new order has to stay in its boxes it can't get put away although I am getting quite a lot of empty space really to sort out now um, so yeah got to do that and I've got to get some more I, when I was being naughty I ate my biscuits that I had for people so you know the nice ones well they're all nice but you know the ones that um the, what are they called biscoffs um yeah i kind of ate them um not just me gary at some but i thought oh, i'll get some more but i've got harry bows but i you know i have to be careful because um i put some harry bow in and they're in like individual wrapped packets and then that packet's in another packet so they're nowhere near the yard and it's a good thing because that particular parcel went to Arizona which was so hot it melted them all <laughs> imagine it melted gummies I wonder what that looked like just a big melty gummy I think I'd have ate it you know I like things that are melty I do I like my ice cream on a melt you know not not sort of like it's milk any you know not gone but when it's when it's kind of going oh that's how i like it you know that was an impression of ice cream <laughs> where else can you get this kind of quality i'll tell you i can actually do an impersonation of melty ice cream it's like oh you know it's when it goes it's starting to drip and you've got to lick it you know if it was a curly one but these, <laughs> if we get a tub, like ever, don't do it anymore because obviously I'm doing really well on my diet now. But when I have like a Ben and Jerry's, I get it out of the freezer. I can't eat it like that. So mine goes in the microwave until it goes, <sighs> and it's then spoonable and you can see little melty bits. That's ice cream to me. Gary has it so that it's rock hard and he just chisels little bits off and then he, he kind of, savors them it takes him about three times as long to eat his ice cream as it takes me because he gets a little tiny spoon and he gets tiny bits off it and he just savors every single tiny little spoon i just mm, off you know the same nom 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 gone that's me not quite as bad as that but you know what i mean um but I can daydream all I like about it now. I'm not going to be eating any of it. I'm not going to be having anything naughty at all. So Gary had chicken tikka bites today. They were the one, not the ones that we get from the Chinese, which are just tikka. These are the ones that we were having that were in a tray. We got them in a butcher's. Um, and I can't eat them anymore because when, when I've tried a little bit, I thought, oh, that's sweet. So that will have sugar in it. And before, I didn't really care about that, but I do now. So I had a prawn cocktail and two chicken legs, and that was that was my dinner today. So I had a little starter. Well, the starter was bigger than the main, but never mind. And yeah, so I'm doing quite well, really. Um, got to do better. So not got much to tell you. So unfortunately, it's not going to be the, a mega long one with me babbling away in the corner. But um, and I do need to go. I've got, look, I've been healthy, been drinking water. So, but yeah, I need to make some tea. It's a really fancy, a cup of tea. And I can't wait for this to um, get better. It is getting better. I mean, it was red raw and it's not anymore. Just a few little flaky bits of skin. That side is a lot better, but it's still, still got kind of rough skin there. And I did notice I had it on a knuckle, it might have been that one there. I don't know what it is, really. It needs to um, uh, do one, whatever it is. So yesterday, actually, I've got one thing today. I've got some, uh, not shorts, but longs from um, the shops. And it was only the, the local ones in uh, in the town. We don't have much in the way of shops, but we have like a, a we have a, a new look and a peacock and that's about it you know a few other crappy shops anyway i bought some longs i can't call them shorts because they're long shorts 
pedal pushers um three quarter length ones i don't know they probably come to about knee ish so i bought um some white ones and some black ones and then i bought a short pair of black ones so they come sort of thigh and then i bought one that was leopard print <laughs> i said to gary do you like these he went oh yeah <laughs> so i thought i do like wacky stuff now and then but it's usually just when i'm wearing plain colors and i'll have one little bit of crazy stuff <laughs> i can't wait to see paul's face when he sees him he used to like every time he looked at my legs he would look at them and go like this because they'd be like snake skin leopard print you know not really gaudy i, I liked subtle you know so it wasn't like bright brown it would be kind of gray and not quite as bright like uh, what's the word like um not not bright but subdued <laughs> but not subdued because it was it was leopard or snake or something subdued but not subdued anyway i'm gonna go and go make this tea and i'll see oh i don't think i want to sit out there with gary it's really hot i went out there earlier to empty the litter tray and i could not wait to get in um i did it all and I, I just came in and i said to gary it's really uncomfortable out there it's really sticky so where's he gone <laughs> just sit in it oh anyway i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching hopefully my thumb will be better in a day or so i'm hoping it's better by tomorrow really a little bit more so that i can get on with this um these blankets and do some tutorials anyway I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.